Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and welcome back to Echoes of the Eye. The feels just keep on coming. I mean it when I said that my feelings with this game have completely flipped, at least the DLC, they've completely flipped since starting it. There's no more fear. There probably will be one we're skulking about in the darkness, but th there is a humanity to the Freaklets now that I feel wasn't there before, or a completeness to them, a wholeness to them, I feel like I understand now. Yes, they did something terrible, they did something that doesn't line up with my morals, but they are just another facet of the human complex. Them and the Nomai are more alike than I think I give them credit for. I don't know if that's maybe because I have a soft spot for the Nomai because I played the game um, up until the ending. I still haven't finished the game, but I have that kind of predisposed. Pre I can't say that word. Predis predisposed predisposition predisposition towards liking the Nomai. So when I see these. Freaklets doing something callous, doing something cruel, doing something destructive, I think, ah, that's not right. The Nomai were literally willing to blow up the sun in the name of science. Everything else be damned. And that was purely this kind of selfish need to know. Which is quite familiar. Everyone who's played Outer Worlds you know what I'm talking about. There is this need to know more, but they took it so far that they were willing to sacrifice the entire system just so they could know. The Freeklets, I I feel like they're coming from less of a place of knowledge and more of a place of kind of reverence or awe or just kind of wonder. The same way the Nomai started off being in awe of this eye of the universe and then it became an obsession that they had to get there they had to know more the freaklets literally consumed their planets to get here and imagine doing that imagine if we on earth sacrifice everything we carved everything out of it we carved up the trees we delved the mountains we emptied the seas so that we could go into this, into the void to find something that we think means something. And then finally getting there and realizing you'll never see the hills, you'll never see the mountains, you'll never feel the trees or smell the rain ever again. And that thing that you were so desperate to touch and to see and to know is a lie. It would break us. It would break me. And I feel like I'm actually more attached now to the Freaklets than I am the Nomai. You can quote me on that. I touched on it at the end of last episode. I feel like there's a part of them somewhere still there that I can save. And that's not an option with the Nomai. The Nomai are gone. The Solanum. Solanum's still there. Technically. One sixth of Solanum still exists. And that's purely down to quantum physics. It's not down to them genuinely surviving. It's a trick of physics. Whereas with the Freaklets, I feel like there is still somewhere in their part of them. And I feel compelled to try and save them even if I fail in the process. Now, I might not be able to save them, but the first port of call, it's not actually the first port of call, this is like the 17th port of call, is gonna be the tower. We need to go back to the tower. We need to go back and explore. What I feel like would be a clever thing to do, right, is to enter the stranger through the damage section. Then we're gonna go into the gorge and we're going to use the gorge as a base of operations because from there we can't really be swept away so from there i've got time to explore 
the tower place. I don't actually, what is the tower one called? The Endless Canyon? No, the Starlit Cove is where we need to go. The good news is the Shrouded Woodlands. I believe we have explored all of now. Completed it. Um, we still need to go out to the abandoned temple, which I need to do in like a, if I get like a spare part of a loop, we'll go back there. Uh, I feel like it must literally be maybe I didn't finish the reel that time because I didn't exit it. It might be something as simple as that, so we need to give that a go. Today though, we're going to the Sarlik Cove. Secluded village nestled within a cove, a candle lit tower sits atop a nearby island. I reach the tower's upper floors by projecting a path to a second entrance at the back of the tower. And there's a secret well, so I need to watch this back, because I need to get there. That's that ruined house. Right, and I don't know how to get there. But I know where I need to be now. I need to get to the ruined house and we go on there. And then which way do they turn from here? I feel like they go back towards the ruined house. Yeah, they do. Back towards the ruined house. Then about part way through. There's that. Blow that out. And then it gets to wherever they are. Which I'm guessing we have to go back on that raft and, and across that way. Okay, cool. We have our heading. Um, I don't even know where that's a reference from, by the way, but I've realised I've said that quite a few times in the series. And I genuinely don't know where it's from. If you guys could let me know if you know where that phrase is from. We have our heading. Um, I think it's Pirates of the Caribbean. In fact, I could be like 90% sure it's Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it's Jack Sparrow. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Pirates of the Caribbean. If I'm wrong, at me. Um, we can do it. Right, so, enter through the broken bit, go to the gorge, get on the th raft, and we're going to go some, do some exploring. Um, I do kind of want to try to do some exploring before the tower collapses. Um, I, I, I've been affected more than I thought I was going to be. I've literally just, what did I say we were going to do? I'm so thick sometimes um what was i saying i was affected more than i thought i was going to be by um seeing the free clips die properly um some of you found it quite funny actually not that particular bit but my insistence that you know they must be dead you know they've got to be dead Someone quite rightfully pointed out that is probably got something to do with why they failed to keep up with maintenance. Um, but for me, it's kind of now thinking, well, how, what, what, what happened first? Did they die and then stop maintaining? Or did they stop maintaining and then die? Because to me, that is an important difference. Because um, that will indicate whether they became addicted to this kind of you know, this simulacrum and decided that that's what they were going to do. They were just going to sleep it off and everything else be damned. Or did something kill them? Something probably relatively benign. Um, you know, did they just starve one time? Did You know, it could be a bunch of different things. But it's something that I feel like I need to know. But I also have a gut feeling it's not going to get answered. I really hope it does. I just, I don't think there's going to be any kind of history kept from after the, the sleep. I genuinely don't think that's something they would keep records of. Um, I am happy that they kept their records though. And I'm hoping that by entering the other secret locations so for example this one when we go down and we have to sneak by everyone um we're gonna reach those other towers in the under in the like the forbidden library whatever we're gonna call it that underneath area if we can get to those there's got to be the unblemished reels for us to look at and i can't wait because i love me some lore and it's amazing how this game, at the very beginning, 
in some way or another will pretty much tell you everything you need to know but it will emit like literally just three key pieces of information and then because of that we're going on this wild goose chase and it does the same with the base game you know it actually kind of tells you everything you need to know um when you look back at it you know you got the mask and then the mask connects with you and then because it's connected to you you now keep dying and every 22 minutes you go back to that spot and um, obviously it's missing out the how that's happening but i love it when games and media and books and just anything really does that i think it's really a really fascinating way of telling a story in such a way that you can go back on a second look and be like how did i see that how did i not see that that was so obvious i keep seeing the little blue kind of artifact there that's from i'm presuming from us targeting the the, the what's it call it and it keeps confusing me i'm still really perplexed by this and i don't think i should be i think it is just a case of that's where that lives but to me it looks just out of place it's not feng shui you know not that i'm particularly good at decorating but to me it's just wrong it shouldn't be there it should be neater also those two things are not aligned it's not at the same level which is fine i guess but i'm never going to be able to unsee it I'm never going to be able to unsee it also like where are those chains going they just literally go up and then stop and yes, I am just rambling, but I do that. I do that and it's quite fun. I enjoy rambling. Right, now, we need to keep our eyes peeled and I've got to figure out what is gonna be the best approach to this, right? Cause I'm gonna need my lantern. Oh wait, no, this isn't the right place. I need to go to the second place. Sorry, my bad, ignore me. Let's go back to the second place. I just, I don't, I personally don't think I can jump that far, right? I don't think I can jump that far. I feel like we're so... far away. I don't know, maybe it is jumpable? It just doesn't look it to me. It really does not look jumpable to me. And we know this water is too deep. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Don't I have anywhere I can dock? I know I needed to see. I've done this in the wrong order. I've done this in the wrong order. I don't... I've done this in the wrong order. I've done it in the wrong order. I'm ah bugger. Right. I'm doing it. I I'm using mechanics we haven't really used before because I'm determined I'm getting answers. We're not wasting time anymore. I can do this by meditating. Oh, okay. Genuinely didn't realize I could do that. If you follow this, if you meditate in front of the flame, it puts you to sleep. Neat. Genuinely didn't think that would be a thing. Right, so I need to go to the tower. Right, need to go to the tower. Go through. Do the, the light thing to get to that lower level, and I'm guessing that will give me the raft kind of docking place but then again i don't think i need the raft docking place not if i'm quick 
but I will have to be quick. And I guess I've got to wait up if it's easier to... Is it going to be easier to just stay at the tower and go about it that way? Or will it be easier to do the tower light bridge thing so I've got the docking place, get out, go to the gorge, go up, go to sleep. I'd get like a few extra minutes at the end, but surely I'd spend that amount of time just traveling anyway. So I don't know if I'm even going to make any more time by doing it that way. I should have trusted my gut. I should have trusted my gut and just gone about it this way. And then I might have figured it out on the way round. I wouldn't have figured it out. I'm clever, but I'm not that clever. Okay. Now we know what we need to do. That was just a, that was just a warm up. It was just a, just a nice warm up. Giving you guys an extra few minutes of watching this struggle. Right, is there... I'm gonna need the artifacts as well, because there isn't one at the tower. So I made that mistake once. There might be one at the tower, but I genuinely can't remember. Um, I'm gonna pretend there isn't one. There's one in the gorge. Where's the one in the gorge? I can't remember where it is. Because there's one in one of the cinemas. I think it's the one in the gorge. There's an artifact. I can't. I can't remember. It's been been a while. My little brain can't take it anymore. I think my brain is actually concussed now. Um, I think my brain is getting used to the concept of maybe the ghost matter isn't actually all that bad. You know, I think I was just getting paranoid about it. Ghost matter is ghost matter. It can just phase through stuff. You know, I think the only things it doesn't seem to go through is water, and I don't know the reason behind that. I don't know what's special about H2O. But if the game says water stops ghost matter, the game's right at the end of the day, and I will trust that. Okay, it's been a while since we've been here properly. I want one of these. I want an artifact in my room so I can put it next to Rebeck. I need an artifact and then I need um, a Nomai scroll. I think they're... Oh, maybe like one of the Nomai staffs. I think they would be some things that would make me very happy. I know my mask would be dope, but that's huge. If I knew more about like doing cosplay and stuff, I would love to do a, like, a Nomai cosplay at some point. But I don't know enough. I'm still guessing that's the one who blew themselves up. Right, let's get in here. Okay, right then, everybody. I've got some blowing out of things to do. I still... I... Earlier I said, I'm not scared. I think I've changed my mind. I am still a little bit apprehensive of things, you know? Um, okay, right. I do still love this little puzzle. Shh. And I feel like there's probably going to be quite a lot of that here. Right, so I could go and... Oh, th that thing down there was so I could... Um... I'm getting really stuck on my words today. There was a, a light thingy down. Yeah, I'm making progress. Um, oh. Shit. Does all this go? Okay, so that's some. This is some kind of shortcut, I'm guessing.
Better not be any owly brews out here. It's one of their instruments. I love that thing, especially especially because it's just like a singular string. But I do really like the idea of being able to get quite a lot out of a one string. How many one string instruments? Okay, so this is the way that I need to get there, right? So. This means then. Ah, right. I feel like we're kind of we're kind of there, but we're not, right? So this is the way down. That needs to get over there. Then how do I get over there? Right, let's go. Let's go see if there's any more funky lights, like door light puzzles, because I I think that's where this is taking me. I think it's just as simple as there are lights that I need. Oh no, is that the water? Is everything going to get a bit tilty? I think everything's gonna get a bit tilty. Or is it just okay, 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 okay. There's a guy stomping around up there, which I'm not particularly fond of. Let's light everything up that I can. Did I not get this? Did I not get this far before? Uh, I'm over here. Okay, 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 okay. That's the way back up there. Okay, so this is a bit of a shortcut. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. This sign is telling me not to go places, but too bad I can't read. Ooh, ooh. Hallelujah. Right, I don't think there's going to be anything over here, but I really, really want to just go and have a quick look. Just so I can say I've been everywhere and explored it. This is another, this is a... How old is this place? I'm keeping that one to myself. Or am I? I don't know. They had a vision. And I made a passing comment at one point of what if... It in fact was not a vision. What if it was something else? What if it was a memory? Oh no, I need to... I need to blow out a thing? Or was that through here? I can't remember. <sighs> so that's an extra piece of art. We've not seen that before. I've not seen... Let me put my thoughts together at the end. Let me put my thoughts together at the end. I need to, I need to focus right now. I knew it. I knew it.
Well, hello, fellas. I need to get out of here. Right, then I know. Right. If I go over here. I can just hope there isn't a freaklet. Oh, I've never been so stressed in all my life. Oh, these... I don't know this area well enough. You freaking stay there. Nope, 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 nope. Shit. <gasps> no. <sighs> I don't know where I'm going now from here. I knew it from back there. I don't think I can figure it out from this angle. Oh, no. I'm going to have to... They've been walking around in the dark. Which is bad for me. Right? That is so bad for me. Oh, guys, I am not enjoying this. So, of course, they're going to be down there, right? And they're going to be... Sneaky as all hell. It. No, no, oh, mm, come on. How can I see you if you don't use your torch? How can I see them if they don't use the torch? I was expecting them to be walking around like this. You know, like they were before, but they're obviously hunting me. They're looking for me. They know that this is... This is wrong. I feel like I need to get in a better place. I'm going, I'm going to the gorge. I'm going to the gorge. I've got a plan, right? If I can't beat them at their own game, I'm gonna to have to do the most morbid thing I can and I'm going to have to go when they're not there and I'm going to have to blitz through it as quickly as I can. And I'm not happy about that. Right? I'm not. I'd much, much rather do this when they're there. I, I, ever since I've kind of come to that conclusion, it's, it's too... I don't want them to be dead. But at the same time, I feel like this is a puzzle that's going to be so much easier if they're not there. And speaking of if it wasn't there, can you get out of my way, good sir? <laughs> I'm taking this bridge for a ride. Oh boy. Oh boy. We can do it, I believe. I Hopefully we've got just enough time to make this work. If not, we've had a good practice, right? Think of this optimistically, Sturks. If it fails this time, you can always give it a go next time. But you'll know what to do. 
And you'll know that that stupid chicken is going to stand on that side of it. It's, they're always there. I was... I think the problem was I was used to them in the other one anyway. Um, in the gorge, in the Endless Canyon. Seemingly learning and moving. But I'm guessing if there's going back there, they're like patrolling around that thing. So if I can just kind of know the layout just a little bit better. Right? Heist part whatever. Let's doze off. Wake up. But not really. Ha ha ha. Um, it's going to take so much time because I've got to get... I'm not going to have enough time because I need to do all of this. This is a mess, right? I know most of my adventuring is a mess, but this feels particularly messy. Especially when I feel like I should know better by now, but I don't know better by now because I haven't done that area before. I was learning. And I've learnt my lesson. So I guess that's okay. No point getting stressed over it. No point getting upset over it. So... That piece of artwork has kind of thrown me off. But it's tying back in my mind to what we already know. So these guys saw the eye of the universe seemingly cause, you know, un uncomparable, incomparable, uncomparable, I guess it's both the same, incomparable destruction, right? Devastation on a galactic or, I don't even know, universal scale. It turned them all to dust, it, it decayed them. And I don't know if maybe that's a metaphor, maybe that's just a metaphor for time. But we did see in one of those reels, like almost immediately after, the grass starts to grow. So that implies everything's not actually dead, it's just these guys were dead. But that artwork, we saw the flower which is definitely meant to be the eye, right? It was shaped like the eye. The Nomai said, the eye of the universe is older than the universe itself. We all know what that is potentially saying. Maybe that's what these guys believed anyway. That would explain how it could, you know, be older than the universe. If maybe it birthed the universe. But then, how old are these guys? Or have they foreseen the end? Have they foreseen the end of the universe? They now know something that we don't. They've interacted with the eye. Maybe that's why they worshipped it. Maybe they knew... All of this, all this wonder, all this excitement. Ah, oh, speaking of excitement, maybe they knew it was all because of that. I don't know. Part of me feels like I need to wait. Just a little bit more time. Because these guys are definitely still kicking. Right? 
which I feel for quite obvious reasons. I never thought I'd be excited to hear that sound. But that's my ticket. That's my ticket. We need to go, like, now. Damn it! No way near enough time. No way near enough time. So I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. It's the old fashioned way, and I hate that. Because I'm so afraid of this place. Even after all this time, I am still so. so afraid of the dark. They look so human in these ones. They don't look scary anymore. Where? Where are we? What is this place? they lost my brain feels so busy it feels so messy I feel like I'm trying to put thoughts together of what's happened now, the puzzles, the discoveries. And then there's an artwork. <gasps> like they wouldn't put something in this if it didn't mean something or if it wasn't meant to mislead you. It's one of the two. It's either that is true or is that to mislead me? I don't know, because I, I know that this is an unusual order to play the game. I know that the, the, the standard way of playing the game is to finish the base game and then you do the DLC. So you'd come into the DLC knowing whatever we find out in the finale. I don't have that luxury. I still have the luxury of being able to make my own opinions and my own theories. And I don't want to know, by the way. So even if it's true, even if it's not true, do not tell me either way. I don't want to know. But I feel like it's put everything into very stark contrast now. There isn't this effable thing at the end of the universe that I know nothing about. It suddenly feels tangible. It suddenly feels real. It feels... Mundane. It's like knowing a thing can take the beauty away from it sometimes. But like, there's only one way to find out. The only way we're going to find out is when we finish the DLC and we go back. And we commandeer the vessel and we go on our own little adventure. Next time though, we need to go back to the tower. 
one thing I did notice in that kind of memoriam room, there was an elevator. I did notice the elevator. There was a shaft in the ceiling, which leads me to think somewhere in there, there is an elevator that we can take down. Some kind of shortcut, maybe. I also want to see what happens if I just try and walk down there in the light. No, it won't work in the light because the, the, the system will see me because it's light. I need it to be dark and then to, to hide my light. I understand that. So we do need to do that. But I know the layout now. I feel like we can try that and give it a good go in the next episode. For now though, guys, that's all I've got time for. As always, I have been Sturks. You've been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part of this little adventure.